OK. So ladies and gentlemen, in this example, they are asking us to use the properties of logarithms to expand the expression. And what we're talking about expanding the expression um, is we, won't, we want to rewrite this by using two or more logarithmic equations or logarithmic expressions. Right now, we just have this written as a single logarithm. And at Bernoulli, it's also a natural logarithm, which remember, we can always ensure with that base e. But since we know natural logarithm is going to have the base e, we don't need to really include that. We just need to understand that, remember that that, ba that natural logarithm has a base e. All right, so when going through our using our properties, we want to go back to our main properties that we've talked about. So we had log base b of xy equals log base b of x plus log base b of y. Yes? All right. We also talked about when we had log base b of x over y equals log base b of x minus log base b of y. And then we also talked about the logarithm log base b of x raised to the m is equal to m times log base b of x. So those are some of our properties of logarithms that we've gone over that we had to write down, Michaela, for us to make sure that we can apply when we're trying to expand this. So the next thing, the other thing that we talked about is if you guys remember our rational functions, or our, I'm sorry, rational exponents. Remember, we can take our rational exponents, right, and we can rewrite that as equals the b root of x to the a, right? So therefore, that's really important because when we're looking at this fourth root, we need to kind of understand what does you know, the fourth root represent? Why do we have this as the fourth root? Well, we can rewrite this as ln of x to the third times x squared plus 3 raised to the fourth. All right. Then by using this, by applying our property, we know that whenever we have an exponent, we can bring that down in front and rewrite it as a product. All right. So it's up here. Now we can rewrite this down as a product. So I'll have my first one, because I'll use the power power rule, so I have ln of x cubed times x squared plus 3. Then you understand now that you look at this, you see I have x cubed times an expression x squared plus 3. So we have a product, right? This x cubed is times the x squared plus 3, just like you have a product here. I know it's not as simple as x and y, but this is a product between this monomial and the binomial. So therefore, we need to make sure that we understand this, this 1 fourth is being multiplied by everything. So multiply everything. Now I rewrite the product by using addition. So it'd be ln of x cubed times ln of x squared plus 3. Then we look at this again, and you notice that, well, again, I have this power, this power of what I'm taking the natural logarithm of. I can bring that down as well. So final answer would be 3 ln of x, oh, I'm sorry, that's supposed to be plus, plus ln of x squared plus 3. Ta-da. Anybody have any questions? All right. So just go through. Remember, when we're trying to break this apart, just try to look at you know, where you're having your powers, where you're having a product, and just break that apart, either using addition, or if it's division, you'll be using subtraction. OK, Haley? Yeah. Good. 